So, okay, so I'm Vlad. I've been uh, doing uh, uh, media f with OWS since the very beginning. And uh, I was focusing mostly on live streaming. Uh, the, a lot of my background actually is like doing like full-on tactical media editing stuff and so on. I, I really focus on live streaming within OWS. We cannot really, ha don't really have time to edit all this content afterwards and to move into proper videos with enough context. Well, every live streamer has, I don't know, 50 people who watch them, you know. And they're, not, they're just watching. But they, they can be part of the revolution. We, they can be making a transcript of what the hell happened on that live stream. And then editors will be able to go off the stuff and immediately create edits to tell the story. We're launching today, we launched Occupy the Comms. You go to Occupy the Comms, th it's basically like a mini Facebook that's designed for creating collaborative analysis of, of information. You basically have all the subgroups. We're actually setting this up for Spain and for United States at the same time. For Occupy at the same time. So the Occupy is going to be in English, uh, Spanish Revolution is going to be in Spanish. You join whatever groups you want and you join the subgroups. That automatically puts you in the mailing list and then we'll have instructions how you join the real time chat. So this is going to be the communications network. We're setting up a system where you log in and you basically going to have for every channel, for people who are doing the transcription, there's going to be a page where you have a channel and there's going to be a pirate pad that people can edit at the same time where you can type in what the hell is going on. And then we're setting up working groups basically with editors who will process this work and try to make stories out of it. And we're setting up working group of writers who can start figuring out how to write articles about this stuff. We're not creating a publishing platform. This is up to the people who are actually going to be working together to figure out where they're going to publish their stuff. Because we want people to, co to coordinate among themselves to, on how to tell the story. But on top of that, you have subgroups, for example, just live streamers or, or, or just editors and so on. So they can discuss among themselves and split up the work. And the writers can go all of the stuff and collaborate and write articles, and we can actually do this before the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal or whoever gets to publish their stuff, and then we can use our network to make the stuff go viral, and then we're on the narrative. It's not enough that we are in the streets. Yes, of course we're in the streets, but we have to explain why. And we have to talk also about all the different things. It's not just an anger, it's not just a protest against Wall Street. We be, we, we're one years old now, so we're kind of, uh, we're not beginning to ask the question, what do we really want? And it's not a question of a demand, it's a question of what do we want in our society. And that needs to be incorporated into the narrative. So that, that's the idea. We need people to plug in tomorrow. And if they can, that would be awesome.